Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. So over recent years, over recent six or seven years, I would like to highlight that after 2007, when certain steps were taken in the area of development of forestry, we are witnessing positive trend in development of forest industry in Far East and in Russia overall. So just to give you a case, over last six months of 2015, we have increased the production of board, of uh, wood, of paper, uh, lumber, and other types of products for some types of forest products. We, not in percents, but we see manifold increase in production of these products. So I think that this is a start, good start was given to improvement of forest industry. Thanks to introduction of customs duties, we see that export of woods reduced significantly. And across Russia and, and Far Eastern region in particular. So our main goal is to improve, increase wood processing activities in Far East and to reduce round timber export. So I believe that the trend here is quite positive. Currently, Far East sees implementation of 12 priority projects and as of now, we have investment around 37 billion rubles, uh, 32, so it is planned to invest 37 billion rubles, and 32 of them have been already invested. So our main goal is to keep, to maintain this positive trend, the trend for the development of these industrial processing facilities, to keep improving and expanding the product line uh, in timber products and keep up with further development of forest uh, timber processing industry. So those 12 priority investment projects will serve as a framework, as a platform for uh, the next several years. Another thing I would like to underscore is that those capacities have already been launched and in some areas they work in full uh, with full workload and uh, we in the government will continue to create the ecosystem, the environment, so that additional capacities that are inaugurated so that they operate efficiently and that all measures are oriented on that. There are a number of limitations and um, very hot spots for uh, the prevent um, forestry in Far East to continue to develop, and they basically applicable to the entire territory of Russian Federation. Uh, in Far East, there are some peculiarities, but as for the infrastructure and uh, sufficient development of the infrastructure, uh, we could call um, the problem with uh, the existing roads for transportation, um, the tariffs for the government, as for the uh, change of the financial resources. This is another problem. Um, we're trying to lower the existing interest rate, but it looks like it will not be uh, successful to do that in the nearest time with the existing economic economy. Uh, there is an option to uh, subsidize that interest rate, and we are trying to apply that um, subsidization for a number of industries in Far East region. I have to also say that um, over the recent two years, um, we have allocated 2.7 uh, billion rubles to subsidize the, the interest rate on loans, on lease, on transportation. Uh, it, in the priority priority development projects in forest in general we have um, run an analysis uh, trying to understand where would be the hot spots of growth 
in Far East region, there are uh, particular areas, particular industries. As an example, the pallet production, 90% um, of the uh, produced pallets are being uh, exported. And we've uh, raised those, that issue at uh, this session on export. So the volume of the market in China is about 20 billion tons of pellets. I do believe that considering um, different um, minor issues, we will take the biggest part of the market, considering uh, the fact that lump sum of the products that are being exported, meaning pellets exported in China coming from Far East region. About 50% of low uh, quality uh, raw materials are remained at the um, wood harvesting um, areas, and we still can use that um, for pellets making. So we, as for USB, will uh, basically uh, be OK. Uh, in the nearest time, so we will not have issues with the internal demand. We have to start considering the export um, plans. The paper and the cellulose, uh, I hope, will be um, exported in the future in big volumes due to the increasing demand throughout the globe. And the cost of, uh, for the products will be also go up. We have run an analysis um, throughout the country, so at the region, Asia Pacific region, uh, trying to understand what would be in what kind of materials will be in higher demand, or uh, for what type of materials the demand will grow, and um, as for the subsidiary or uh, governmental help, I think we will. Uh, still be getting that uh, support um, at the same volume, and mainly they'll be, they'll be tar that support will be targeting the uh, priority development projects. Yet, I will believe that this will be one of the steps of, into the nearest future that uh, will help us to consider um, our further steps. At the round table, we were discussing a number of possible um, vectors. And I do believe that a number of steps and actions that have already been taken will help us to maintain the balance. Yet, from the point of view of the development, we still have to consider the uh, ways for the uh, feather movement. Uh, here, uh, number eight uh, states that now we will be having uh, in the list of export goods the, um, the timber materials. So we actually um, can apply to Rock's Exim Bank for uh, the loans. So uh, basically, uh, the foreign countries can address the Roxim Bank if um, they try to get the loan to purchase Russian goods or um, Russian products. So as for the first. Um, Position on that list, take the um, no link tax customs duties um, for the products of uh, deep processing. Um, we have special types of contracts. We have the special development funds uh, that address um, different uh, industries, and um, unfortunately, um, the forestry. Um, industry doesn't use that opportunity quite vast. So again, uh, we um, have to say that there isn't, uh, uh, within these measures that are trying to improve and propel the development of the um, timber industry, uh, they will help us to develop um, that industry in general. As for the uh, custom duties, customs duties, we will discuss it vastly. How do they affect the development of the production and um, 
I do believe that in the nearest time we'll find the solution to um, be able to help the Far East to bring more projects here and to make sure that they are operating ongoing projects are becoming more and more profitable. We hear um, that that topic is being discussed a lot to make sure that the um, projects, the timber uh, projects that are being uh, conducted here at the Far East become more and more uh, profitable. And I do believe that in the nearest time we will um, be able to change that to the better.